Hello to everyone, my name is Yulia and I'm product marketer at Serpstat. Our team has released a new updated version of clustering and I would like to present it right now. So let's get to our projects, just click my projects and select tools in the left corner. Open clustering and text analysis and here I am on the main page of clustering. Uh, there are all my products which I have, but let's add a new one via this button. So title, enter a project name for identifying, add a domain if you want to assign pages to clusters, select search engine, country, and region and town, they are optional. So options, um, the number of similar URLs for keywords of clusters depend on these settings. Uh, weak strength and cluster type requires a um, fewer number of similar URLs. So strong strength and cluster type requires uh, more similar URLs for your keywords, uh, approximately about 12 URLs. Then press start and add keywords. You can do that manually or import keywords from CSV or TXT files it's optional. Uh, here are uh, the online calculator for understanding how many credits will you charge. I won't start the project right now for not waiting. So let's just move to the existing one. For example, this one. Here I am on the main page and let's uh, in the left side we see different clusters its name and how many keywords each cluster contains homogeneity it's uh, how much these keywords of this cluster are similar and how many urls similar urls they have volume this metric shows um, the volume of the keyword and it helps to understand uh, how quality keywords you have and you would to add to your pages or websites. And if you see any keyword with um, pretty low volume, I would like to recommend you to delete it if you uh, would like to have only high volume keywords, but it's up to you. And connection strength, it says um, how this or that keyword um, is similar to the theme of the cluster. Uh, the higher connection strength, the more similar uh, this or that keyword to the cluster. And what about operations for clusters? I'm sorry, for keywords. Let's uh, select some of them and what can I do right now? Just press operations and move them to unsorted. Um, it's very cool if you, for example, you would like to add all these keywords to any page with pretty unique semantic, and there are some keywords that are not um, fit to this page. You can select them and just move to unsorted. So you don't delete them, but you move to unsorted and you can um, work with them later. You can move keywords to any other cluster. Uh, it helps you set any cluster in that way which you want so you can generate them manually anytime you can delete cluster in general add any keywords or delete these keywords uh, very important that now our clustering is able to cluster up to 50 thousand keywords it's much more than we had before so this is a cool feature Start text analysis. You can start text analysis for any of these clusters and it shows you the quality of your semantic tags, meta tags like H1, title, description, etc. You can uh, check it, analyze, and then uh, optimize your semantic uh, side of your website. Uh, settings. You can change them anytime and after changing settings, you just press refresh clustering and you get a new and cool data 
after changing any project settings. It's very um, useful for people who have a lot of changes uh, in their projects or websites and or you have a new website and you are not sure about all these uh, settings, all these keywords are pretty new for you and you're not sure about settings like about search uh, region, which one to choose. Uh, don't worry about that. Just change it anytime and uh, you will get uh, relevant data. And of course, exporting. We have four different formats for exporting CSV, XL6, and XLS. And export it and work with this project anytime. Share with you with your friends, colleagues, and um, just use our clustering uh, at the best. Thank you for your attention and have a good time.